Hi, this is Tara with Index Data, and this is a quick tour of Folio. So when we first log into Folio, we'll be greeted by the main Folio page. And here in the upper right-hand corner, we can see our current service point. A service point is often, but not always, a circulation desk. It's important to make sure that you're logged into the correct service point. We can click on our current service point to see who we're logged in as, and we can switch our service point as well. To the left of that, we'll see a question mark. That question mark will take you straight to the documentation, which is useful if you need help. And then to the left of that, we've got all our apps. Those apps or modules are what we use to run the library. It might be easiest to go through these grouped together by function. So let's look at the circulation apps first. In circulation, we have check-in, check-out, circulation log, requests, and courses. The check-in app allows you to process items at a service point, so check-in or discharge or scan-in items. The check-out app allows you to check out or charge items to a patron. The circulation log provides you with a history of certain kinds of transactions. Requests allows you to manage patron page, hold, and recall requests. And the courses app is for managing course reserves. In acquisitions, we have finance, invoices, orders, organizations, and receiving. The Finance app is for managing the library's money. This is where you'll find budgets. Organizations is where you manage vendors and other organizations associated with the library. The Invoices app is where you manage payment for the materials that your library orders. Orders is where you keep track of those orders. And Receiving is where you can indicate that materials you've ordered have been received by the library. In Cataloging, we have Data Export, Data Import, and Inventory. Data Export lets you export bibliographic data. Data import is where you can import new or updated bibliographic records or import invoices. Inventory is where you manage your collection. This is where your instance, holdings, and item records are. In electronic resource management, we have agreements, e-holdings, e-usage, licenses, and local KB admin. In agreements, we can manage our agreements, which are library purchasing arrangements. Licenses are where you manage the legal contracts entered into by a library and a vendor. The eHoldings app allows you to manage your library's EBSCO knowledge base, and the local KB admin app allows you to import data into Folio's local knowledge base and monitor harvest jobs from external sources of e-resource metadata. And then the eUsage app is for statistics. There are also two sort of general apps. The first is the Users app, which allows you to manage user information for both patrons and library staff. The second is Settings, which controls the options available in lots of other apps. Finally, for reporting, we have the LDP app. It's used to generate reports directly in Folio. You can read more about each of these apps in the documentation. That's where I stole all of this information from. Each of these apps is unique, but they often have similar structures. For example, most apps will start with a left-hand search and filter pane. When you perform a search, the results will appear. When you click on a result from that search, a third pane will open with the details for that record. Interacting with something on that record or performing an action will often take over the window. Folio will often move you around between apps because many of the apps are interrelated. Two last things to note. One, patrons won't see Folio. They'll see your online public access catalog like ViewFind. And two, Folio only works when you're connected to the internet. It does not run offline. And that is a very basic tour of Folio.